Hello YouTube, welcome to another video, my name is Luis. So in this video I'm going to install in the same SSD uh, Ubuntu and OS Mac OS Catalina. Uh, so I already have uh, Big Sur on another SSD and I have this one with 240 gigs only with um, already installed Big Sur but I don't want to waste an, an entire the SSD with, uh, with Ubuntu I want to be able to have another operating system on it okay so I went to Ubuntu and I will try to resize the partition in order to be used with uh, another kind of format so I can use it for data or use it for something else okay so this is the entire system that uh, Ubuntu is using so I, I'm trying to resize so I just want uh, 80 gigs for Ubuntu I put it like this and I will click resize okay and I have all the other drives disconnected from my computer just in case I don't mess up okay and I get this error so the system cannot unmount itself because it's running on this SSD and for that reason we cannot perform the operation so what we need to do is to start the computer with the pen disk we used to to install Ubuntu so it was this one I used with 4 gigs it still has the image of Ubuntu that we can try or we can install so I will boot the machine now with the, this pen drive so I will access again my BIOS with F12 to select the boot option my motherboard is gigabyte so now I will select the Wi-Fi for the USB stick okay I will select Ubuntu and let's speed up the video and once it's finished we can try Ubuntu or install let's select try And now let's open the disk utility so select disks and now we have the pen drive and the, the, yes, the SS, uh, SSD that we want to shrink or create another partition so we have to select and select resize now we need to tell how much gigabytes we we want to keep so this is will be the size of the ubuntu partition and click resize okay this will take a long so i edit the video for for be faster for the tutorial and now we have free space with the remaining space of the solid state drive or SSID so we need to create a new partition click plus select the size because you can create more than one I will just create one we need to give it a name and we need to select the kind of format we want so I will call it data And I will select erase. I don't know if it is mandatory, probably not. It will take more time if you select erase. And once again, I had to edit the video because this takes a while. So the process is now finished.
and if we go to other locations the partition will be here and we can create folders and move files inside okay so if you have a big SSD that you want to share files between Windows and Linux you can create a, a partition using FAT and and that way it can be readable from both systems so now I will restart the computer just to see that everything is working I will select again Ubuntu I will not need to select because it's by default in my BIOS to boot from Ubuntu so I just need to enter the password and now we have the partition called data with the folder we created so back to Big Sur I can access the, the partition called data so I can copy and use it from Mac or I can use it from Windows so my intention was to to install another version of Mac OS so I will be installing Catalina as a backup because if my main installation of Big Sur gets corrupted I can I will be able to boot from Catalina so now I will proceed uh, so I I logged out of uh, Big Sur I'm installing Catalina this is an Macintosh by the way it's not a Mac and now I have Ubuntu I have Catalina I have Big Sur and I have Windows in the same machine so if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe.